Japanese officials estimate that the cost of dealing with the aftermath of the Fukushima nuclear accident will nearly double to more than $170 billion. The officials add that the cost of decommissioning the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is likely to quadruple to about $70 billion. And $70 billion will be needed for compensation because farmers will be seeking damages. The cost of decontamination work is also likely to increase from a previous estimate of $35 billion. The government will temporarily shoulder some of the compensation costs and later seek repayment from Tokyo Electric Power Company. Other utilities are similarly shouldering part of the burden, meaning higher electricity bills for users. The officials are also working on a reform plan for TEPCO in the hope of diverting its profits to pay for the decommissioning. But the ballooning costs threaten to jeopardize this plan. The government hopes to decide how the financial burden will be shared by the end of the year. Decommissioning reactors at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is expected to take 40 years. Robots will be needed to complete the task, and engineering students took part in a contest using them. Fifteen teams from 13 National Institutes of Technology gave demonstrations on Saturday in Naraha Town, Fukushima Prefecture. Robots ascended and descended a steep stairway modeled after reactor buildings. The organizers limited working time to five to ten minutes, considering the effects of strong radiation on electrical devices. The participants needed to operate robots via cables, as radio waves cannot penetrate the thick concrete walls. The robots had to take a video of an elevated area. A team from a Tokyo Institute succeeded by using an extendable arm. One team member said they considered the impact of radiation and reduced the number of electrical parts. I will enter university and keep advancing my research of robot systems. I want to contribute to decommissioning the reactors. The organizers hope companies will launch joint research projects using the ideas of the students. The Japanese private foundation is offering financial aid to young people who may have been affected by the Fukushima nuclear accident five years ago. It will help those who have been diagnosed with thyroid cancer. The foundation says it will provide about $900 per person starting next month. It raised the funds by collecting donations from the public. People aged up to 25 with thyroid cancer, including suspected cases, are eligible for the aid. They should be residents of Fukushima and other prefectures in eastern Japan. These young people will face the risk of cancer all through their lives. We hope they will not hesitate to contact us. Fukushima Prefecture has been conducting medical checkups of about 380,000 people who were 18 or younger at the time of the accident. 175 have been diagnosed with or are suspected of having thyroid cancer. Education officials in northern Japan have apologized after an elementary school teacher addressed a student in what they say was an insensitive manner. The boy evacuated from Fukushima after the nuclear accident. The teacher addressed him using a word that can mean germ. The inappropriate word that the homeroom teacher used made it difficult for the student to attend classes. We take the incident seriously and deeply apologize to the student and to his parents. The officials say the teacher claims he was using a meaningless syllable he sometimes adds to students' names. He told the officials he wasn't using the word for germ. But the boy says he had told the teacher he was being bullied by classmates who called him a germ. The boy has been absent from school since the incident more than a week ago. 
In a similar case, a boy who moved from Fukushima to Yokohama said his classmates added the word germ to his name, and he considered committing suicide. Japan is known for efficient modern infrastructure, but across the country, more than 3,000 sinkholes open up every year. A massive one in Fukuoka got a lot of attention this month, although its cause, construction work, is different from the vast majority. NHK World's Saudi Yasuda tells us about the growing problem. In city after city, sinkholes have popped up, causing traffic problems and scaring or injuring residents. I was riding, and suddenly I fell with a thud. This month's motorcycle got stuck when the road suddenly dipped. I was shocked. It's scary because it was totally unexpected. Another man was knocked unconscious after he fell here on the same day. In cities across the country, the culprit is aging sewage pipes. They can crack, potentially destabilizing the ground and everything above. Many were built during Japan's rapid post-war economic growth. But 50 years later, increasing numbers of pipes are exceeding their lifespan. Researchers simulate how a sinkhole is formed. A simple crack is a sewage pipe can lead to a very small air pocket. But add gravity and rainwater to the mix, and it can eventually become huge. In real life, you don't see the problem until the hole grows very close to the surface and causes a sinkhole. That's what's scary. Nagoya has the highest number of sinkhole-related accidents after Tokyo. The red line shows the city sewage pipe network, about 7,800 kilometers in total. 20% of them are past their prime. The so city officials are using a special camera to the inspection. They look at places more prone to deteriorate, like pipe junctions. But the team is short-staffed and can only take 300 meters a day. Even when the team does find a broken pipe, fixing it isn't easy. A complex underground network means there's a time-consuming process to protect other pipes not under repair. To be honest, we just can't splurge on fixing sewage pipes by assigning a lot of people. This is a major issue, especially for city officials. Municipalities don't get much financial help from the central government the Land and Infrastructure Ministry requires them to check road conditions every five years. So, Nagoya city officials have resorted to asking others to keep an eye out. This water meter inspector found something suspicious during his daily work. I'm calling to report a sinkhole-like dent in the road near a drain. While larger city grapple with the issue now, the problem with awaits smaller ones whose pipes were installed later. All of them continue to look for ways to cope with the risk that many people don't realize is right under their feet. Saori Yasuda, NHK World, Nagoya. NHK has learned that Japan's government is planning to increase its cooperation with the global nuclear watchdog. It will work closely with the International Atomic Energy Agency in taking measures against nuclear terrorism ahead of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. The government will send State Minister for Foreign Affairs Kentaro Sonora to Vienna next week. He'll meet with IAEA Director General Yukiya Amano to discuss terrorism threats. 
Japan hopes to share terrorism-related information with the IAEA. It will also receive technical assistance from the agency to prevent nuclear terrorist attacks. The IAEA has been provi providing such help to countries hosting the Olympic Games and World Cup soccer tournaments.